And welcome back, guys. We're going to be playing some more Dying Light 2 campaign gameplay of Peacekeepers. And what are we doing next? Well, we're going to be climbing that. Oh, boy, am I ready to climb that? Not really. Anyways, make sure you hit the like button. Make sure you subscribe button. Uh, I'm trying to get through the storyline as quickly as possible so that we can go and try the DLC. But, hey. Yeah. You gotta enjoy it a little bit too. Anyways, let's get into it. Let's see here, where do I wanna go? I think I'm gonna fly from here. Ugh. Pray at night, hopefully there's no Valorant toss in there. Usually I, oh no. Run, run, run. I completely forgot about the howlers. Talking about. Y'all see me? Real question is, will I have enough stamina for this? Oh. Bit of electricity really brightens the place up, but the fucking elevators are still stuck. Power's not getting to them, it seems. Now, the building's been switched off for years, right? We need to check the electrical relays. Well, ain't you a fucking genius? The boys are in the dark zone already working on it. They're trying to locate the power distribution room in the smaller tower connected to this one. And they're setting up the lamps you got us to secure the surrounding areas. When my men switch on the elevators, we just go up and... Oh, fuck me. It's row. Power's out again. Command says the substation is online and working five by five. It must be here. Leon, we have a blackout in the main hall. You? Affirmative. We're in the dark again. God damn it. Get out of there immediately. You got that? Leon. We're still looking for. Just leave it. Get out. Now. <laughs> Leon. Leon. Fuck. I have to get to them. I'm with you. They split up between Carter's A and B. I'm taking A. You go through the recording studios. I'm on it. Good. If you're there before me, just get them out before the dark gets too dark. And watch your back. We have no use for dead meat. Leon, hold on. We're coming for you. This way, Aiden. Corridor B. Good luck. I'm gonna need it, huh? Take this. You're gonna need it more than me, bro.
see, you see him. That's what I was worried about. I was hoping by sleeping night off that uh, they wouldn't be in here, but uh, apparently I'm wrong. Alrighty. Shit at me. Cleanse the area and make sure it's safe before we go too far. Zombie, zombie. Come on. Ow. Nice. <laughs> Painful ping in the Discord server. <laughs> this is why I always close my Discord when recording. You never know who's gonna be a ass and just sit there and ping ya, trying to get your attention. I'm like, you know, trying to do stuff. Emergency call me for my cell phone, not for Discord.
Much night time left. We gotta go. <sighs> Trying to do this during the day was a terrible idea. Woo! Hi there! I need to stay very still for me, sir. I expect you to get out here. Woo! That was the first. He's never here. Alright. Bro, I'm in the lobby. Roger that. Don't wait for me. The bastards cut me off. There's like 20 of them. I need to get back to the main hall. Make your way through the maintenance room to the basement. The power distribution room is down there. more arrows. Eh, I, I just don't play Rust anymore. Not really. I'll occasionally get on if someone set up a farm, but I just don't do it anymore. It's gotten boring. For those that are curious of why I don't really play a lot of Rust anymore. It just has a lot to do with, like, server owners being a douche and, you know, certain groups being on certain servers where they go out of their way to be a dick, and you know, it, it just got to that point where I'm just like, eh, maybe not. Don't get me wrong, I'll occasionally get on there and play some rust, but most of the time I just kind of stay out of it. That's bull crap to deal with. Hey, thanks. Oh, I'm taking that off. And you're Leon? That's what it says on my dog tag. Where's the rest of the squad? They got us. Damn volatiles. This is where my story ends, bro. Hey, man, don't talk like that. Is there any more survivors? Aren't you the blind optimist? Chris. <sighs> he punched through and went that way. The blackout. I think it was his doing. Get the power back. It's the only way to get the elevators working. The terminals are in the basement connecting both towers. Please, take this letter and give it to my wife. She's on the ship. Yeah, sure. You can count on me. Just hang in there. I'll find Chris. Bro, I know what happened with the power. I'm on it now. I'll connect these terminals and restore the power. Did you find any of my boys? Only Leon and possibly Chris. The rest, uh, they didn't make it, Ro. I'm sorry. Okay. Just, uh, be careful, Aiden. We can't lose any more men.
I remember, this is about to be a hell of a fight. So when I flip this breaker, I just kind of look around to remember, my, remind myself what rabbit hole we just entered. I gotta break that off, break that one, break that one off. Let me grab the help out of this. Basically, I have to get to each one of these and fight enemies. I don't think I have to interact with this yet. I know here in a second though. Oh, help. Come here. Got a hit. Alright, let's see what happens. Ro, I'm here. The power won't come back on. Oh. Shit. You'll have to check the fuses. Oh, crap. Yes, sir. I restored the power. Get the cable from the power distribution room and get out of there. This had better work. Remember correctly, I gotta grab this. Um, I need to kind of jump over here. And I need to kind of go down this. Without I get stuck in anything. Plug this in here. Remember, I'm gonna go in there first and unlock stuff.
down, I'll come back down. <laughs> I did it. Ever gotten a medal, Pilgrim? Never. I'll cut you one. Out of a potato. We're going up to set up a temporary camp. See you on the eighth floor. Ooh. Take me to the outposts. We got sleeped off the night. It's gonna get banned. <laughs> Plus, I went to Esther XP for doing like parkour jumps, so. Or do I want to do it during that? I could do it this day. Hmm. Where's Leon? I'm sorry, Ro. He... he didn't stand a chance. I knew it was a fucked up idea to come here. I got something for you. Thanks for what you did for my boys. I, I know you really tried to help them. Who is this? A proximity tool. The GRE tagged more important goods with special RF markers. This might come in handy. Once all the antennas are working, you can use it to detect important containers and stuff. Lord knows what's waiting for us once we actually get to the roof. But you won't be alone. You'll have my men with you. And Lieutenant Rowe himself. Well, you're coming? I've had enough of leading from the back and hearing my people die. All right, let's go then. We're waiting for Matt. He's bringing the transmitter and he'll oversee the operation from here. So, you have some time for a nap or to take a dump. Just somewhere outside the camp, pretty please. Sticking around? Hey, are you? Mind if I join you? Be our guest. How you feeling about the mission, Aiden? Well, we made it this far, didn't we? We'll see it through. Or die trying, right? <laughs> Ro sure is a hard ass. Of course he is. You know his story, right? You've seen the burns on his face and neck. I was there when he barged into a burning dark zone just to pull out one private. Yeah, the guy can be harsh, but... Not a lot of people will lay it on the line like he has. Damn right. Okay. Time to get some shut eye. Just a moment, gents. Special treat for the night. Well, you rock, Lieutenant. Here's to our fallen comrades. To the fallen. And pretty ladies. Why do you want to exclude your wife? <laughs> <laughs> Hang it in there, guys. We are, Lieutenant. We've been through worse, right? Remember the volatiles in the old port? Well, that was a carnage. It was, and we pulled through. We'll have another good story to tell our families. Am I right? You are, sir. 
Something's bothering me, Aiden. The renegades. And what about them? They're everywhere. Spreading in the city like cockroaches. But here, the biggest antenna in the city, strategic place, and no renegades at all. Ah, it's not like anything else they're doing makes sense. Good point. First, someone turned on the electricity. No idea why. And then, when I questioned the renegade officer, he babbled something about GRE facilities they're trying to locate. Didn't make much sense if you ask me. X-13 or something like that. But I'm worried what they're planning. X-13? I've, I've heard about that place before. Oh, yeah? What did you hear? I know that Waltz is hunting for it as well. Any idea where it could be? Well, if it's real, it could be a GRE complex. Top secret. Well hidden. But once we're done with this motherfucker, maybe we figure out what it is and find it first. But for now, get some beauty sleep. Infected like us more when we're rested. That was a nice tune you played. Let's hear some more. Yo, Sleeping Beauty! Aiden! The head honcho's here, let's roll! And Matt brought the transmitter? Safe in my pocket, boy. Alrighty, this looks like a good place to stop. Make sure you hit that like button, make sure you subscribe button. I'll see you guys in the next video.